There was a service in Hong Kong last week. 12,000 mourners, many of them weeping teenagers, jammed police barricades. Today's service was much quieter. The guests were admitted by invitation only, and there were only 200 of those sent out. A few fans without invitations showed up at the door, but they were quietly turned away. They waited in small clusters down the block. The invited guests were a mixture of Seattle's Chinese community and Hollywood. Both worlds were familiar to Lee. The leaders of the Hollywood contingent were Steve McQueen and James Coburn, Lee taught both men his special version of the martial arts at his school in Los Angeles. Thank you. May peace be with you. Within days, more than 20,000 mourners crowded the streets of Hong Kong to pay their respects to the fallen superstar. Following a memorial service, his body was taken to Seattle, where Bruce and his wife had met and fallen in love. Among those at the funeral were close friends James Coburn and Steve McQueen, who served as pallbearers. At the age of only 32, Bruce Lee had left behind a wife two children, and an unrivaled legacy in the world of entertainment and martial arts. But ironically, it would be the films in which he didn't appear where his legend would live on.